five plants that you should plant after COVID-19. Hello everyone, welcome to the Riverside Fresh channel. We are the A Brothers. I'm Ashraf. I'm Ashfa. And today, we're going to talk about the five plants that you should plant after COVID-19. issues being discussed today due to the COVID-19 pandemic is food security. What we see now is countries that are exporting food around the world are stopping their exports. And the reason why is they're worried about their own food security. This puts us at risk because if we are importing food from these countries, that means the food that we rely on them to produce will actually increase in cost. That's going to impact you directly. Now, this is also a problem that's already been around for a while. Uh, we're talking about climate change now and we're talking about um, uh, population growth. And these two issues are actually going to slowly exacerbate the problem of food security around the world. So that's why we're here today to talk about what we can do to produce food ourselves. And that's why uh, we're going to talk about what are the five plants that are easy to plant um, by you so that you can actually start producing your own food. Number one, cucumber. It's because it's easy to grow this and easy to maintain and it bears you a lot of fruit. Okay. How long does it take? Um, from, seedling, from seedling to to harvesting within three months mm. and after that you can eat all you want all day long every day you eat timon cucumbers are low in calories you know yeah yeah okay high in nutrition as well really yeah well not to mention it's also easy to eat with everything basically number two easy to propagate and easy to eat you can either cook them or you can just eat them raw these are called uh, brazilian spinach ataupun uh, in malay we call it bayam brazil why Brazilian spinach? Well, Brazilian spinach gives you uh, good, imp it improves your immune system mm -hmm. as well as strengthens your bones and mm -hmm. also it fights cancer mm. as well as it improves your digestive system. Right, which means you can go to the toilet easily. Number three will be long beans. Why long beans? Long beans will help your soil as well as will help your tree. Green beans will supply you good source of vitamin C. Excellent. That's what number four. We grow kangkong. Why we grow kangkong? Because it's easy. You just drop it on the ground, on or on your pot, and it will just grow. All right, Ashraf. Yes. Do you know that kangkong is a super food? Really? I just found out. We should plant more. Yes. Number five. We grow pak choy, or what we call other name sau. It's because of it reduces inflammation as well as it improves your blood circulation. One of my favorite vegetables. So there you have it folks, the five plants that we feel are the best for you to start in your own home garden. If you have any that you'd like to add to the list, don't forget to comment below and we'll cover it in a future video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell button below and follow us on Facebook. In the meantime, stay safe, healthy and eat your veggies. Bye!